Hi, my name is Mike and I make videos of my allotment and the occasional woodworking project. Long last, it's raining and it's what we've been waiting for. Look at these blue skies and an hour later, skies darken and down comes the rain. The effect of the rain on the allotment never fails to amaze. The brassicas I planted out and thought were lost to the boss have sprung back to life. So nothing has happened. There is a downside, it also affects the weeds and in particular that pernicious weed, bindweed, which must be removed ASAP. Wet weather is an opportunity to revisit the rat-proof enviro vents in the polytunnel mentioned last week. The first task was to take some dimensions on a piece of wood which surveyors call a rod with the purpose of making a template. The rod is taken back home and at the positions marked two holes are drilled to the same diameter as that of the polytunnel framing, 20 millimeters in diameter. When the two holes are drilled, the edge face exposes a hole which I enlarge by pairing the points away to allow hooking onto the horizontal frame of the poly. Quickly return the last of the plot to try out the template as I require eight number of these which if the template is okay I can produce another eight exactly identical in the shed. Did you hear that click? The idea works. Now I'll visit to the timber yard and let's make another eight. Let's try that again from a different angle this time. On the jazz! I do love it when a plan comes together. Template facilitated the setting up of a stop block, shown here. The timber yard only had enough material for two things. We'll have to complete the order later. But using the template, four identical vertices will be produced four horizontals. Order prites are laid out together for setting out the inset joints, and here is where familiarity breeds mistakes. Not errors, as anyone can make an error, mistakes are an act of judgment that is misguided or wrong, Oxford Dictionary. Which is why we have rules, training, procedures, drills. First, rule of setting out, make a face mark. Second rule, face edge to face edge. This is a drill or an intensive instruction by means of repeated exercises, Oxford Dictionary. This is what I should have done and this is the result of not face marking. Saw blade is raised to the depth of the joint. Noise, by the way, is my wife using the clothes dryer, which means I can't use the sawdust extractor. Face mask used, and the joints duly cut, albeit it's on the wrong face. It's at this point I realised my mistake, to which I quickly spliced in makeup pieces and recut the joints on the correct face while the machine was correctly set up. The tops were cut with a round. Do not want any sharp edges to damage the polyfabric, which were then sanded smooth on the side. Now the time for some assembly. The joints glued. Cramped. squared and moving the cramps in a slight diagonal position to correct the off square resulting in a thumbs up which can now be given. Glue 
dried and cured, now ready for a clean up and off to the plot. Joints look pretty good, can't see the splices, publicising my mistake. I gave this frame a coat of quick drying internal varnish for the, as I'm anxious to get at least one frame uploaded this week while the others will receive the three coat external varnish that has a 12 hour period between coats which is really three days. The F cramps did not work so we'll have to depend on the click power of the circular holes. The panel was scrubbed down with a solution of Jay's fluid to remove the detritus. The rain came down in buckets which later turned to a heavy downpour of hail. I was okay in the poly, stapling on the viral mesh, but the putting on the wire frame outside that's going to have to wait for another day. In fact, I had to wait half an hour till it stopped to return on for our dinner. But I had to look at the brassicas where we started recording this edition at the start of the week and record those same plants at the close of the fourth week and the end of April. Would you Adam and Eve it? By the way, the external varnish highlights the splices. Good job it's on the polytunnel covering side hidden from view. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, the thumbs up would be appreciated. Though please do comment. If you've not already done so, please subscribe and to get further notifications about further uploads, please press the bell icon. And it just leaves me to say thank you for watching. Take care of yourself and Bye.